Hello motorheads and car enthusiasts, welcome to another video by DrivePress. Today we're shifting the gears on JCB's hydrogen engine. JCB has a long tradition of being an innovative company. The business is credited with inventing the backhoe, the telehandler and the one-armed telescopic skid steer. Nevertheless, its road to zero initiative is perhaps its boldest undertaking. JCB has introduced its first hydrogen combustion engine designed to run solely on hydrogen as fuel. What is this new technology? And even more importantly, does it have the potential to outpace the EV market? Let's find out. If you want to learn more about the latest updates in the automotive world, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. The United Kingdom's government has committed to legally enforceable objectives for net zero emissions from off-highway construction equipment manufacturers in the United Kingdom by the year 2050. The Road to Zero campaign of JCB wants to fulfill these goals in the near future. JCB's newly designed hydrogen-fueled internal combustion engine is an alternative to fuel cells and electric vehicles driven by lithium cells that produce zero emissions. The world is moving in the direction of green energy. Hydrogen is an energy source exploding with promise and seems far more feasible than other zero emission options, even though it is not as popular as electric vehicles. Hydrogen is well known as a fuel for fuel cells. However, the form used by an internal combustion engine may not be as well known. Although there have been prior efforts to create a hydrogen engine, JCB is truly pushing the technical limits with this project. JCB chairman Anthony Bamford, overseeing the JCB's hydrogen technology, stated the JCB engineering team has made enormous strides in the short pace of time to develop a hydrogen internal combustion engine. Meanwhile, the company's CEO proclaimed, I'm delighted that we are now able to present this technology on the international stage because we are the first company in the construction equipment industry to develop a hydrogen fueled combustion engine that is fully functional. Physically, the engine is not too unlike a standard diesel engine. Major modifications include an improved induction system, updated pistons and cylinder heads, and spark plugs. Otherwise, the engine's bottom end is mostly unaltered. Essentially, a combination of hydrogen gas and air is delivered into the chamber at reduced pressure through joint rail injection. Before ignition, the air is pushed into the cylinders by a variable geometry turbo. The company's hydrogen engine prototypes are already powering JCB's backhoe loader and loadal telescopic handler. JCB has also achieved a significant advancement in establishing the broader appeal of hydrogen combustion technology by putting one of the super-efficient hydrogen engines into a 7.5 Mercedes-ton truck. The refit was accomplished in only a few days and took JCB just a few days to finish. In addition, JCB has introduced its own custom designed and built mobile refueling Bowser that can bring gasoline directly to the machines. The Bowser can be carried on either a modified JCB fat track tractor or a trailer. It contains enough hydrogen gas to fill 16 hydrogen backhoe loaders and can be moved in any way. JCB also revealed that their hydrogen technology is nearly ready for production and will be the standard for all heavy equipment. Who knows, maybe one day it'll even go down to regular passenger automobiles. So why make a hydrogen engine in an industry going all electric? Since it manufactures heavy equipment, JCB is familiar with the difficulties of converting an excavator or backhoe loader to electric power. And it's not as if they haven't experimented with them, since the company's portfolio includes several operational electric and fuel cell devices. The British company believes that hydrogen engines have the potential to bridge the gap between the use of current combustion technology and the maintenance of simplicity, affordability and the absence of pollutants. To add to that, JCB recently announced that it has produced its 1000th 19C1E machine. The 19C1E has a maximum dig depth of 9 feet and 2 inches, and a maximum dump height of 9 feet and 2 inches, just like its diesel counterpart. However, the battery-powered digger is five times quieter than its diesel counterpart, does not require any engine maintenance, and can fully be charged in less than two hours. The different charging options are available. 110 volts, 230 volts, and 415 volts. The concept has been very well received by businesses who do their job inside buildings as well as inner city locations that are sensitive to emissions and noise. But it's not only for little diggers. 
In 2017, JCB introduced a variety of eight electric scissor lifts to its product catalog. In 2020, an electric version of the 6640E Teletruck was released, marking the continuance of the trend towards electric machines. The first electric telehandler, model 5052020E, was introduced in 2021, while the first electric dumper, HTD5E, was introduced in 2022. Also, JCB is investing in off-board rapid charging alternatives compatible with all of these units. So the question arises, are hydrogen-powered engines better than their batteries? The company has a unique perspective on that too. JCB faced the challenge of reducing its emissions to zero without compromising power or the overall cost of its products. Lord Bamford, the chairman, said that passenger automobiles operate on average of roughly 300 hours each year. In comparison, a standard heavy-duty backhoe would have operating hours close to 10 times more than that. He said that in nations such as India, machines of this magnitude operate for at least 5,000 hours every year. Therefore, a substantially more significant quantity of batteries is required to have the power to operate industrial equipment for a minimum of 8 hours. Not only will it add an enormous amount of complexity to the situation, but it will also make the thing much heavier overall. The associated prices will also spike as a result. Because of this, the engineers took a completely different path and developed a hydrogen-powered engine. According to JCB, their new engine's tailpipe emits nothing but steam and does not produce any CO2. In addition, JCB claims that its prototype backhoe loader, which is driven by this innovative hydrogen engine, can perform all of the same tasks as its diesel-powered counterpart. Changes to the cylinder heads and the installation of a low-inertia turbocharger are two of the most significant adjustments that have been made to the engine, as pointed out by engineering director Ryan Ballard. These were added to facilitate a smooth transition from compression to spark ignition and quicker air supply. Not only does the configuration continue to employ already known components, but the amount of time required to refill with hydrogen is comparable to that of any conventional fuel. In addition, there is a negligible to non-existent rise in the ownership and maintenance expenses. If hydrogen engines are so much better than EVs, then why are we still experimenting with EVs? A variety of factors contribute to the rarity of hydrogen engines compared to their counterparts that run on diesel or gasoline, or even EVs. The mass adoption of new hydrogen engines is not as easy, since EVs have gained more attention over time and more incentive programs favour them over hydrogen. Secondly, the cost of hydrogen is high, and it is not yet considered a clean fuel. However, several electrolyzers designed for industrial use are now being produced in several parts of the world. Even economically developed nations like the United States and India are investing significantly in environmentally friendly hydrogen policies. Therefore, it is just a matter of time before hydrogen becomes less polluting and more accessible financially. The emission of nitrogen oxides, often known as NOx, is a drawback associated with using hydrogen ICE. The cause for this is the high temperature reached when in operation. On the other hand, engineers at JCB came up with a solution by operating the engines on a fuel mixture that was too lean. Compared to its diesel counterpart, the energy density of hydrogen for a given mass is three times larger. Because of this, the team could attain the same values for torque without running the engine excessively high. Selective catalytic reduction is another method for eliminating NOx, a technique often used in modern diesel engines. So the big question arises, do hydrogen ICEs have the power to overthrow EVs? There is no denying the viability of hydrogen-powered motors. It is only a question of developing the necessary infrastructure, providing its endurance and gaining acceptance in the general market. The European trucking sector is investigating hydrogen as a potential alternative to EVs. Additionally, a large number of fueling stations are going to be opening in Germany and France. The weight and recharging durations of electric vehicles are pretty inconvenient. Also, the typical truck driver cannot afford them, and maintaining them is difficult or almost impossible. The hydrogen solution offered by JCB does not behave in this manner. Let's not get ahead of ourselves and declare electric vehicles to be the future of transportation just yet. It is much too early to make any comments at this time. The requirements of each individual will vary. Several factors, driving patterns, location and infrastructure come into play when implementing an all-electric vehicle road plan.
We need to experiment with as many available choices as possible to have a greater potential for success than attempting to coerce everyone into accepting a possible solution. And JCB is not the only one who believes that the future might be hydrogen since Toyota has been on this path for quite some time now and recently rolled out its new hydrogen-powered cars. What do you think about JCB's approach? Do you believe it has the potential to revolutionize the industry? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.